you have dual frontage. So the developers themselves have sacrificed real estate spaces for these shipping docks to remain. So you get a little bit of glimpse of the Sentosa cable cars as well. Hi guys, sorry, just like quiet down for like five minutes. Thanks. It didn't work. <laughs> Alright, Supporting Brothers is here today at District 4 and just check out the views right beside me over here. You can get to see very beautiful Sentosa cable cars and on my right, you can get to see very nice yachts over here. We'll be bringing you to a very gorgeous project, Caribbean at Capo Bay, to show you guys a 2 bed 2 bath with a private leaf access sized at 893 square feet with tons of interesting developments that are happening around this area. So why don't you stay tuned with us here today and let's check this out. Alright, so stepping out from our private leaf access, let's check out this two bedroom unit itself. So as we enter into the space, you will be greeted with the living and dining room area. So one unique thing that we found about this layout itself is that you have dual frontage, which means that front and back, you do get very large size windows that helps to bring a lot of natural light and wind flow into this space. So it's very rare also to get a two bedroom that have such generous living and dining space combined together. And just now, IKEA came out from the private leaf access area. So through this door itself, will lead you to your common foyer area. So it's also very rare for a two bay unit to possess a private leaf access as well. So let's step on over here and check out the views. So from the living room area itself, you can get to look at what used to be a shipping dock area. So we'll touch on the history about Caribbean at Capital Bay later on through the home tours. But first, let us just talk a little bit more about this project itself. So Caribbean and Capital Bay is developed by Capital Bay Private Limited. So they have also been known to develop reflections at Capital Bay and the newly launched the Reef at King's Dock. And the architects themselves are DCA architects. So they have helped to design corals at Capital Bay, Changi Airport Terminal 2. And with that, the main contractor is Shimizu Corporations, which have helped to build Sky Habitats, Westgate and Rivergate. So three very well-known developers, architects and main contractors all came together to actually help to design and build Caribbean and Capo Bay itself. So when you do come down here for physical viewings, do enjoy some of the facilities and some of the beautiful works that they have done in the development. And Caribbean and Capo Bay is located at District 4. It has been completed in the year 2004 with close to 100,000 square foot of land. And the unit types over here that you can find are the two bedrooms, three bedders, three plus study, four bedrooms all the way to the penthouses over here. So one very unique thing that we found about this development itself is that the developers have actually chose to remain what was previously a shipping dock as part of the developments themselves. So as we step on over to the master room, we can actually take a look at the shipping docks over here. So the developers themselves have sacrificed real estate spaces for these shipping docks to remain themselves and this provides the residents a certain level of enhanced waterfront living because I think it's very nice as you head down there for your slow jogs or just enjoy the view in your master room and the living room spaces as well. Caribbean and Capo Bay is actually one of the first projects to actually pop up in Capo Bay area itself and of course we are located at District 4 along Capo Road. After the development of Caribbean and Capo Bay, we have Reflections at Capo Bay that was completed in the year 2011. The high floor 2 bedders over there, size at 883 square feet, are having an asking price tag of $1.6 million which leaves the PSF to be about 1800 per square foot. And moving downwards, we get Corals at Capo Bay which completed in the year 2016. Size at 883 square foot with the asking price tag of $1.7 to about $1.98 million. And that leaves the PSF to be about $1,009 all the way to $2,000 per square foot. And we have the newly launched the Reef at Kingstock over here. Now the two bedrooms over there are sized at about 700 odd square feet with a price range of $1.8 million. And that leaves the PSF to be about $2,300. You can also find a two bedroom study over there, sized at 893 square foot, which is similar size to ours, with an asking price tag of $2 million. So that leaves the PSF to be in the range of about $2,002 per square foot. So if they look upwards at a very beautiful new launch project, Avenue South Residences, we also have a two bedroom premium over there, sized at 883 square feet. The asking price tag for that is at $1.8 million range, and the PSF over there is about 2,000 per square foot. So if they take a look at the three bedder itself, some of the most affordable three bedroom in this project are having an asking price tag of $2 million and upwards. So I think if you wanna keep your price content kind of below the $1.6 million range, and you're comfortable with a two bedroom layout, and you still wanna enjoy this very nice waterfront living, 
Then I think this unit is something very nice for you to consider. So the Capel Bay area itself is of course filled with a lot of historical significance. It was named after Sir Henry Capel who was the Britain of the British Royal Navy. It was back then known as New Harbour and the name actually changed to Capel Bay area in the 1990s because the then acting governor Sir Alexander Swettenham actually named it after him due to his contribution to this area itself. So of course as we head back to the times right now, the landscape has vastly changed. Uh, ever since the 2000s, the government had actually shifted all of the shipyard areas towards the Tuas site over here and actually redeveloped the entire area into this enhanced sort of private residential developments with waterfront living. So as you're walking through sort of this area itself, you also can find remnants of its history past as some of the shipping docks that was used in the past are still here today. So previously there was actually four docks, namely Queen's Dock, King's Dock, and Dock 1 and Dock 2 and where Caribbean is located at today is where Dock 2 used to stand. Alright, so stepping up from the master room area itself, we can find a four-seater dining table over here with very nice windows on the side to allow our natural light to come into the space. And on this corner itself, we can find our living room area. Our owners have installed a two-seater over here with a TV console and a TV set on this side. And I think what you can do to really maximize the entire space on the living side itself is like is that you can also choose to install an L-shaped kind of sofa on this corner and do a very nice beautiful TV feature wall on this side. And if we look up, we can actually notice that there are data icons installed in the living and dining room space itself. And you also have the very expensive high cone fan that has been installed by our owners. So it's also very rare for a two bedroom to get a fully enclosable kitchen itself. And this is extremely generous because you get a five open flame stove over here with a microwave oven at the bottom and you also have tons of top to bottom storage spaces for all your kitchen needs and the back over here you also do have dual sink and I think for kitchen wise it's also very important for you to get very large windows so you can also dispel out some of the cooking smells as you're cooking your meal for your friends or family over here. Now the kitchen is also accompanied by a yard space so our owners have installed a fridge and also a washer and dryer can be placed over here. We have a refuge chute that is located inside the unit so that means that you do not have to actually head out from your unit to actually dispose of your rubbish. And a Steigen system has already been installed for your indoor drying set so I think this is very generous for a two bedroom itself. So Caribbean and Cabo Bay is a large development project which is split into five different zonings. You have the club which houses most of your facilities on this side and beside that you have the Laguna which houses some of the residents and located along Toloblanga Road. And moving downwards we can actually see that there are three different piers in the developments namely Queen's Piers, Central Piers and also Empress Piers. So the two largest piers over here are Queen's and also Central Piers which houses most of the residents here and you can also find some of your facilities on that side. So you can find your kids pool, your lab pool and your barbecue pit on this side. And where we're located at is the Empress Pier, which is the smallest pier in the development. Which means that you do get this extra level of exclusivity when you stay over here. And we are located in Block 22 itself, which is also one of the closest blocks towards the link bridge that will link you to the rest of the piers as well as the facility around this development. So I think that really hits the trifecta sweet spot in our unit over here because we are one of the largest two bedroom sites over here at 893 square feet with a PSF of $1746 and you do get a price quantum of only $1.56 million negotiable. So I think if you are sort of looking for space and you want to keep your budget below the $1.6 million range for this very nice two bedders with its own private lift then I think this might be a very nice choice for you. So of course you would come in and have a more investor mindset and opt for sort of a rental play in this unit itself. I think there are some very interesting numbers for you to look at. So we have actually checked the past records for Caribbean and Capital Bay itself and just in the month of May, there have been 21 rental transactions in the project themselves. So I think this is very good if you are a landlord yourself because that means that the rental transaction volumes are very healthy in the area so you do not get a high level of vacancy in your unit. At our asking price tag at $1.56 million, if we were to take a bank loan of 30 years, LTV of 75% and prevailing bank rates at 1.3% and that will put our principal amount to about $2,659 and an interest rate of $1,267. So that leaves your monthly mortgage to be at $3,926 itself. So if we were to take a look at the past records, we can also find that the rentals over here range between $4,000 all the way to $4,600 over here. 
So if we were to take a median rental yield at $4,300, that would mean that your yearly rental yield will be at 3.3% per year. And of course, with the two bedroom units, you can also opt to rent out to two separate tenants for a healthier rental yield. So for example, you can also rent out the common room at $2,000 per month and the master room at about $2,600 a month. That means a total yield of $4,600 per month, leaving your yearly rental yield at 3.5%, which is extremely healthy. So for connectivity wise, we are also located just right beside the Harbourfront MRT station. The Harbourfront MRT station is a dual line MRT track which means that you get your northeast line as well as your circle line all in one station. And with the circle line itself, you can be easily connected to spots such as Bishan, stadiums and even the Pasir Panjang area. And with the northeast line at Harbourfront, it connects you all the way to the northeast area. So it brings you along to Outram Park, to Chinatown, all the way to Pongo itself. So we are also located along the West Coast Highway itself. So if you were to drive down on the left, it will bring you to developments such as the One North as well as NUS. And on the right itself, it's just a short 10 minutes drive to the central business district areas. To step into the hallway, you will find your common bathroom spots over here. So it is ventilated with very large windows on the side. You get your rain showers as well as spaces for you to put your toiletries. And you have a very large size mirror itself. And stepping back into this space, you do get your very own storage spaces over here. And towards the back is your common bedroom itself. <music> Just look at the size of the common room, it's extremely generous. I think you can easily fit in probably a king size bed over here. So of course, if you do have kids, you can also choose to opt to do up a, probably a bunk bed uh, over here because the ceiling height is definitely very generous. Eight panels of wardrobe spaces from the bottom to the top so your spaces are all fully maximized and not to mention the views in this room itself. So we are overlooking towards the Mount Favor Hill so you get a little bit of glimpse of the Sentosa cable cars as well. So just a reminder of where you're located at every morning when you wake up. So you do have a bay window that's over here as well. So I think it's a very nice spot for you to put your family portraits or art pieces located along this area. So we also do have movable wardrobes located on this side itself. So I think some of the ways that you can choose to maximize this layout is that you can also choose to move this cabinetries aside and choose to install probably a study desk on this corner over here. So at Caribbean and Cabo Bay, you have also a host of amenities around you so I think you really will be spot for choices so let us just touch on a bit about that. So for amenities wise, I think you'll be spot for choices over here because you have Singapore's largest mall over here which is Vivo City. So over here, Vivo City is well known in Singapore as one of the family tourism and lifestyle destinations. So for the development itself, it also has a park connector that will link you to Labrador Nature Reserve and from that point on, it will also link you to Tolo Blanca Hills area. So tons of jogging and also cycling tracks for you. So we also have Singapore Cruise Centre located just right beside Vivo City. So if you want to take your family to kind of a short vacation itself, you can also opt to choose to go to Batam or Bintan from this location. So with close to 100,000 square foot of land, the development itself have a lot of facilities over here to entertain its residences. So over here we have 9 barbecue pits, 3 tennis courts, Olympic size swimming pool, 4 lap pools, 2 25 meter pools, 1 leisure room, 1 function room and you have a very nice elevated gymnasium that overlooks towards this marina at Capo Bay. And all of this for a 2 bedroom unit over here with a private lift, you are having a monthly maintenance fee of only $465 for what we think is really an affordable price point when you are coming in to buy a condo here at District 4. Alright, last but not least, let's head in to check out the master room over here. So we have fitted a very generous size, king size bed on this corner. And if you notice, you get this very large size full high glass panel that invites a lot of natural light to come into your space. And if you're someone that's kind of concerned about the afternoon sun, what has already been installed are all these solar fumes that are along these panels over here. So 3M is actually doing a great job with their solar fume panels. By installing them, they actually can help to reduce about 50% of the solar heat and all of them have actually a 10 years warranty to them. So that's something that you can consider and install them over here because I think having this full high glass panel itself is something that is really, really nice. So the master room itself is also very generous because we, our owners have also installed this work from home station over here with a TV set on this side. 
So I honestly have also installed this very interesting propeller like fan over here just to help you ventilate the space. And there are also six panels of wardrobe spaces over here to house all of your clothing. So, so this actually stretches all the way to the ceiling level as well. So stepping in here, you get your master ensuite bathroom that has also been recently renovated. So come in and check out the space. So you have this very nice lava rock feature wall over here. So you also have similar kind of propeller fans that are installed over here. You have a very good size kind of his and her sink with a very nice butcher block kind of wood installed as your basin sink, large size mirrors. So stepping back into this area, you have a standing shower that was also recently installed by our owners because previously what happened to this space is that it was actually a bathtub area. Now of course if you wish to kind of install back a bathtub into your own space, I think you can definitely do that over here. If not, a standing shower is extremely functional as well. You have this side ledge over here for you to put all your toiletries and soaps and also very nice large size windows on this corner itself. So I think something that you can do to this space itself is of course choose to install a darker film in this area for the extra level of privacy. So I think there are also a lot of very interesting developments that are up and coming around these areas. So let us just touch a little bit about that and keep you in the loop as well. So over here, of course, we have the well-known Greaton Southern Waterfront, which comprises of 30 kilometers of coastal stretch all the way from gardens by the east towards Pasir Panjang itself. So that's about 2,000 hectares of land. And just a bit of context, that is twice the size of Pongo and about six times the size of Marina Bay. So over here, the government have been planning to bring live, work and play together and also more private housing options and more office spaces and recreational activities as well. So as we head towards Sentosa itself, we can find this very interesting island called Pula Brani. So Pula Brani is set to be the next resort island with new attractions, very similar to Sentosa itself. So this is going to be kind of like the next mini Sentosa over here. So we are also closely located towards the One North master plan development. So One North currently right now it's housed to about 400 leading companies. You have your famous Google that's over there. So it's housed to almost 50,000 knowledgeable workers, 16 public research institutions, the first drone estate in Singapore, and eight distinct precincts, namely Vista, Biopolis, Nepal Hills, Fusion Police, West 6, Launchpad and Media Police, and also your Ayah Raja. So all of this, the government had also pumped in $7 billion of investment into this area itself. So we've come to the end of the property home tours here today. Now I hope you have enjoyed it here with me as much as I did. So if you're looking to stay at this iconic project here and you're looking for a two-bed, two-bar with a private leave access, then do come down here for a physical viewing of the place. Our listing manager's contact details are in the description box below. My name is Shante, Robert Lim Brothers. As always, happy to show you the place. There's still room in my heart for you, Cephas. It's not the last room.